Oh, they're only boxes. That that doesn't really look very crazy to me. <laughs> the annual dogs fancier show is a big deal in Richview. It's just a local match, but some of the dog owners get very competitive. Dr. Kinnear, the astronomer from Mount Vernon College, is the club president. She did the judging today. Let's talk to her. Hey! Well, this is a shame. Those dogs have really done well in other competitions, but I had to judge them on today's behavior. These dogs here <laughs> are judged on both looks and obedience. Failure in either category disqualifies the dog. I'm doing a very bad um, Indian accent to go with her dreads. I was trying to beat her making, but it didn't work. The three dogs that did best in looks failed obedience, so I awarded the first prize to Mrs. Harper's Pekingese, Fifi. I saw Mrs. Preston, the owner of the Pretty Puppy Obedience School by the woods, just after the trials, and asked how she thought her dog pupils could have done so badly. She said, they're not my pupils anymore. You can ask Randy Hicks of the Moondog Academy about this fiasco. She was positively rude about it. Amazing. Hey, Mrs. Polaria. Ooh, that's a mighty big dog. A large snooty-nosed Afghan hound is sitting in the booth marked Princess Titania. The pedigree displayed behind her shows her champion bloodlines and her, her owner's name, Mrs. Polaria. Stay away from her, children. Kiki's as nervous as can be after today's fiasco, and who can blame her? I can't understand what made her run away. She's never disobeyed me in competition before. Today I asked her to sit, and suddenly she perked up her ears and dashed from the ring. Wait, who's Kiki? The booth says your dog's name is Princess Titania. Uh, Princess Tia Titania is Kiki's formal name. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We the name after she's registered in the American Kennel Club. Her call name, which is what we call her at home, is Kiki. I cannot tell you. Oh, sorry. I can tell you this. I'm not taking Kiki back to Moondog Academy. When Kiki was with Mrs. Preston's dog school, she was a model student. I think that man Randy Hicks has a bad influence on her. <sighs> hmm. A gentleman valet known as Misha, belonging to Nicola Hamble. His paper says that he is a. Sprinkler Spaniel. A card for Moondog Academy is tacked onto his booth. I'm really happy for Mrs. Harper and her dog, but I can't help feeling sad, too. Misha's won Best in Breed prizes before, and we worked extra hard in obedience school for this combined competition, and my voice changed halfway through that, but who cares? It was just so unlike him to dash from the ring like that. He'd responded if he was heard someone calling him, but I couldn't hear anything. Dog whistle. I shouldn't have pulled Misha out of Mrs. Preston's school, Pretty Poppy. Moondog. Oh, hello, Rhubarb. Um, Moondog Academy training methods are just sounded so much kinder, and Randy Hicks charges a lot less than Mr. Preston. Oh, I think that's supposed to be Mrs. Preston, but I don't know. Hello, Rhubarb. Sorry, my sister's cat's arrived. Hey, Nancy. I was taking some pictures of the show for our school paper, the Tiger Press, when I noticed some of the dogs acting strangely. During the obedience trail trials, three of the dogs just ran off the stage, dragging their owners towards the woods. They did well in confirmation, the part of the show where their looks are compared to the breed's standards. But when it came to obedience trials, they just ran off, ruining their chances to win. Those three dogs were bound to win ribbons. It can't be a coincidence. A coinky dink. You know, Nancy, sometimes dogs or oh, so animals just aren't in the mood to do everything in the way we want them to. No, Jennifer, not this time. There, there were three different dogs, all well trained, all doing things they never do. Something's going on. Something's going on, Rhubarb. And Rhubarb's leaving. <laughs> As he does. <laughs> he just gets around. Do, do, do. Oh, look, it's my two favorite black men. <laughs> Mrs. Garcia must be out for the day, but Mr. Lightfoot is here. He's intense. He writes science fiction and spy novels for a living and volunteers at the library when Mrs. Garcia is out. Hi, kids. Mrs. Garcia is off of the state chess tournament, so I'm just filling in for her. If I can help you find anything, just let me know. Actually, we're looking on some information for dog training and obedience. Do you have anything like that? 
Well, you've come to the right place. My friend Randy Hicks is a dog trainer. He's been here all day doing research for his new book on dog astrology. I bet he'd love to help. Dog astrology. Really? Well, let's have a look at the books first. An encyclopedia, ugh, encyclopedia entry on dogs reads, Dogs, Canis Familiaris. A domesticated member of the family Canide, or Canade, or whatever, to wolves, jackals, and foxes also belong. Uh, trained to live with people over 10,000 years ago, dogs were bred by humans for specialized traits, creating 130 breeds recognized by the American Kennel Club today. Dogs have an exceptional sense of smell and hearing. Their powerful noses allow them to track human scents that are undetectable to humans, following the scent for miles. Because of their remarkable hearing, dogs can be trained with silent whistles that use sound frequencies that are above the range of human hearing. Hey, Randy. You two must be Jennifer and Rosalka, man we've met before. Many, many times before. Jay's told me all about you. Are you in one of your investigations today? You both have such curious oars. Yours is like red and it's angry. Uh, yeah, Mr. Hicks. Oh, I, I just turned valley girl. Um, <laughs> we're trying to find out what made Misha, Kiki, and Chato misbehave at the dog obedience trials today. Please, Jennifer, call me Randy. It, it's odd that those dogs would perform badly. I would have expected them all to win ribbons. Of course, how they did is not as important as how they felt about it. I imagine I feel pretty bad about it now. I only opened my school... Uh, I only just opened my school, so they've been my pupils only for a few weeks. But they were all trained pretty puppy by Mrs. Preston before that. She's a pretty intense woman. Believes in different kind of training entirely. It's very different from the nurturing spiritual education I hope to give my pupils. But uh, each to his or her own. Yeah. That sounds brilliant. Alright, let's go to Creepy Critters. Oh, Anthony's here. Mm. That's Mr. Carici and his dog. The folks at the Creepy Critters Pet Show know a lot about dogs. Maybe they can help us with our case. Hey, I just come to run the dog show in the park. I don't want to be some kind of spoiled sport, but I think there was some kind of monkey business with them dogs. My little Chato was in the ring, doing just fine, when all of a sudden all the dogs started this whining. My Chato, he pulled me out of the ring towards the woods. I can't believe that Chato would disobey me. He was the star pupil in Mrs. Preston's obedience class. I should bite the bullet and re-enroll him in there. Chato is Mrs. Mr. Carici's bulldog. His collar has a tag engraved with his formal, formal name, Vicentio Caruso. What's this little thing? A flyer for the dog show is being taped to the front of Mr. Grimaldi's shop. Richie's Dog Fancy is third annual dog show and competition. Prizes for the top three dogs competing two rounds of judging. Best of breed and most obedient. All dogs must be entered two hours prior to the show. Hey, Mr. Grimaldi. I'm surprised that all those dogs behave so badly at the dog show. They've all been well, pretty well trained. I know that Misha, Kiki, and Shadow were all students at Mrs. Preston's Pretty Puppy School until just recently. She's an excellent trainer. She used to train hunting dogs in England. It's very difficult. They call it field training. And field training, the trainer uses whistles and calls to teach the dogs to help a hunter. Calls are the words they shout to the dogs. Mrs. Preston uses a silent dog whistle here in her field training so that the neighbors aren't disturbed. Interesting. I can understand why she was so upset when all the three dogs left her school to go to Moondog. Randy Hicks, the owner of Moondog Academy, charges a lot less for his lessons. I also heard that some people worry that Mrs. Preston was too tough with their dogs. Randy Hicks is more gentle with the dogs he trains. Interesting, but we're out of time, so we'll be back in the next episode. Bye-bye!